I wanted to show you how to make um, what is sometimes called a Japanese omelette, um, although I call it a rolled omelette. Um, this is an omelette that my little boy, who really struggles with food, has found quite accessible because it's a little bit dainty and a little bit fun. Okay, so ingredients and equipment are <coughs> simply your pan, um, some um, uh, I'm using a brush to brush oil around it, um, and a bowl and um, fork to beat the eggs slightly, a little bit of oil of any kind, I've got a bit of vegetable oil or olive oil, whatever you have is fine, some eggs and then a plate to put it on afterwards. Um, okay, so we'll first of all Crack in the eggs and beat them. My pan on as well. Nice and hot. Okay. And a spoon to pour the egg with. Oh, and a spatula. So I'm just going to brush the base of the pan with some oil. <clears throat> and you want to pour your egg in a line in the centre of your pan. So it's a nice, flat, thin layer. Keep turning the pan to make sure the egg cooks evenly. Add a bit more oil. Then another line of egg connecting to the first cooked bit. Keep turning the pan to make sure it all cooks evenly and then start to roll about 7cm of cooked omelette over the part next to it and keep folding it over to a rectangular roll. I haven't seasoned this or added any cheese or vegetable. You could add very finely chopped bits of broccoli or grated carrot or Really. I haven't done it because I have a very fussy eater and everything needs to be separate. So, um, but you can add. And I have seen recipes where they add mirin and soy sauce to the mixture. Um, but again, I wanted to just do it completely plain because I'll add my seasoning later when I come to cook. So, should you put it down here again? You can get your omelette as big and fat as you want by just adding more egg and keeping rolling and folding, rolling and folding.